PUBG prices are erratic and most players struggle to know if the prices are going to go up or down in price. But today I'm going to show you a feature that actually gives you all of this information as well as incredible money makers that you can use with it too. As players, for years we have been programmed to use the median price of an item, but this price only updates once per day and can be massively different to the actual price an item is currently buying or selling for on the GE. However, RuneLite now has a feature that tells you what the price has recently traded for, which literally tells you the exact profit you will make in all of the following money makers I'm going to show you before you even touch them. The beauty of these money makers is we are going to make one small change to an item. RuneLite will tell us when the item we create is rising massively in price and the item we buy is crashing so that we can make absolute bank without much effort at all. The first one I want to show you is a fairly well known method but I wanted to start with this one as it highlights just how easy these methods are and how RuneLite will increase the profit margins. Wesley and Nardo will crush any item for you for 50 GP each, including noted items meaning you can give them a whole stack for him to do instantly. By simply looking up the normal version of any item on the G to see the current sale price and the price of the item once it has been crushed, anything over 50 GP difference in price is going to give you a profit simply just by buying it, taking it to Wesley to crush it and selling it on the G. We sell around 1 million crush nests every single day through the GE, so some of these items buy and sell incredibly quickly and you can flip tens of thousands per hour. The next method also works for free to play and is just as easy to do. If you're like me, previously you would have avoided making item sets as a money maker because you worried that one piece might be rising in price and all of a sudden you make a loss. But by having an up-to-date price, you know exactly how much every item is going to cost you and also how much you're going to make by making a set. And there are tons of different item sets and lots of people would rather buy a set than to buy the items individually and risk that one of them from the set is not buying on the GE. It is already a profitable money maker, but this one really highlights that when an item is crashing, it takes hours and sometimes days for the item's set price to be affected. And in that period, since the items are costing you a lot less, you can make a lot of money simply by purchasing the individual items from a set, making them into a set and selling that set on the GE. Here are just some of the sets, but the wiki has the full list of every item set that you can create. Next up is making light and heavy ballistas from their parts. Whilst this one does have some requirements, you also get a serious amount of fletching experience for doing them. And when I tested these, one of the items had crashed in price and you could make almost 80k every single ballista, whilst also getting some of the best fletching experience in the whole game. The next method is repairing Barrow's armor. And the beauty about this one is whilst it's profitable on its own, Every so often the piece of damaged item is ridiculously lower than the normal version simply because there is a spike in demand. To repair Barrow's armor you can go to Bob in Lumbridge but he will charge you full price. Or you can repair it on an armor stand in a player owned house. If you use the stand every two smithing levels you have reduces the cost by around 1%. So at 50 smithing you pay 25% less to repair it and at 99 smithing you pay almost 50% less. These four items I used just as an example made me almost 100k in just a couple of minutes. Another simple method you can do is master scroll books which you can buy on the GE and then trade them with Watson who will give you 10 to 20 Watson teleport scrolls in return for each book. That gives you an average of 15 scrolls per book so if 15 times the scroll price is more than the price of the master scroll book, it is a profitable method at that point. This method does have a small amount of RNG involved and that may increase or decrease your profits depending on your luck. 
Another good method is the crystals you get from Cerberus that turn into Primordial, Pegasian or Eternal Boots. And just require the crystal and either Dragon, Infinity or Ranger Boots to make them. Whenever the boots you make are rising in price, generally it takes a while before the crystals catch up and during this period you can make a ton of money. They are also fairly regularly traded so you aren't waiting forever for the offers to come in and the requirement of 60 magic and 60 rune crafting to make them isn't too bad either. The next method is one I wish I had thought about months ago because the first people to realise after the Bow of Ferdinand was released that you can revert a blade of Saldor back to a seed and then change it into a bow will have literally made billions of GP. The sword was less than 100 million GP when the bow was released and the bow started at over 300 million GP. And all you need is 250 crystal shards to change the weapon back to a seed and 100 shards to change it to the other weapon. Meaning for 350 crystal shards you could have turned a 100 million GP weapon into a 300 million GP one. Thankfully you can still make money with this item. To get the shards the cheapest way is currently to buy an enchanted teleport crystal and trade it with Amrod for 150 shards each one. Which works out at around 14,000 GP per shard. The bow, blade and seed constantly change price by millions and you can make money by changing the seed to a weapon or the other way around depending on what price is going up or down. However be careful as it is very easy to trip yourself up on this method with the calculations if you aren't comfortable with them. God Sword can also be very profitable and you can make money simply by creating them or even just creating the blade from the God Sword shard 1, 2 or 3. The blade costs around 500k and it's fairly common for the hilt to be much less than 500k than the sword. Meaning simply putting them together will give you a very easy and very quick profit. Another good item to use with this method is making high level jewellery and whilst that requires fairly high stats, this will also get you some free crafting experience at the same time. The cost of Zenai and Onyx jewellery will rise and fall as the man goes up and down, but they all require the same material to make them. That means Zenite, Onyx or the uncut versions become cheaper than the most expensive items currently on the G that you can make. By simply keeping an eye on this you can make any item that is rising in price whether that be the necklace of anguish, tormentor bracelet, amulet of torture or any other item for much cheaper than the cost of the materials. I appreciate the next method is beyond many people's budgets, in fact I didn't even do it myself as I would have had to sell most of my bank to afford it but it highlights how crazy this money maker is. This week we had an update from Jagex for a GE tax that sent some prices literally crazy and this was the price of an Elijah sigil which was 865 million and the price of an Ellie once it was made was 891 million. The only other item required to make an Ellie is a blessed spirit shield which is around 700k. That means you could have made 25 million GP just by smithing an Ellie in 10 seconds absolute madness. Obviously this also works for the arcane spirit shield and the spectral but it also works for other shields like the DFS and the wyvern shield which has had a 1 million difference between the visage and the sigil for the last few weeks now which is also a pretty insane profit for the work required. And he also wanted to highlight high alchemy because using the rune light latest prices it will give you a massive difference of how much you make. If you don't high alk a lot you can use the site alkmate.com which gives you all of the best items to high alk to start with. By simply checking the current sell price of these items you can pick the ones dropping in price and make a load more when high alking or even just flipping. I purchased 1000 rune warhammers just to show this which cost me 23,552 GP each and have a high alk value of 24,900 making over 1000 GP per alk after deducting the price of the runes. That alone is 1.5 million GP profit per hour on a free to play item. Four times more than the highest money maker in free to play on the wiki whilst getting around 77,000 magic experience per hour at the same time. Next up is a fairly simple one but it has no requirements at all 
and it is simply buying giant egg sacks which contain 100 red spider eggs, opening them and selling them on the GE. Now if you haven't done this before, I recommend you open them via the bank. If you open them in your inventory, they don't stack. But if you do it whilst you have your bank open, and just right click on the item and select empty giant sack, it puts all of the eggs straight into your bank. So as long as 100 red spider eggs is trading for more than one giant egg sack, this will make you a profit. Another item that also makes a profit is converting Zamorak Spears into Hastas and all you have to do for this is talk to Otto just south of the Barbarian Outpost and he will convert it for you for 300k or 150k if you have done the Elite Diary. I don't have it done yet but I was still making 100k per spear and with the Elite Diary you would have made 350k each one. Lastly, it's probably my favourite and whilst the profit margins may not seem massive, we buy and sell millions of potions we use a lot of every single day. Every potion comes in either 1, 2, 3 or 4 doses, but the prices aren't linked. That means by dividing the 4 dose price by 4, the 3 dose price by 3 and the 2 dose price by 2, that you get the price per dose of each potion. Simply by buying the cheapest variant of a potion and changing it to the most expensive one, using Bob in the southwest corner of the GE to decant them to whatever dose you require, you will instantly have a higher priced, very fast selling item. I tend to pick potions that we use a lot myself, and I also prefer to end up with either a 3 or 4 dose potion to sell if possible, as they sell much much quicker than the lower dose amounts. This flip literally took minutes to do, the potions bought instantly and sold in no time at all. This method is especially good if you are training something AFK at the G like fletching and making some nice easy money on the side. The best thing about this is whilst I've had amazing support in the last few videos, although I have tons of money makers, the hardest part is finding methods that are still effective after 10 or 20,000 people watch a video and this is one of them. There are so many different items you can do this with and I have only listed a fraction of them. So much so that it is time to prove it. So next week I will be making a brand new account starting with just 1000 GP and I will either be using methods just like this or simply flipping to get that money up to 100 million GP and then I'm going to give it away. So the person or people I will give that to will be the ones that guess correctly how many days it will take me to do this, so please post your guesses below. The rules are simple, I can only do methods similar to the ones I have put in this video, or flip items, but since it will be a level 3 account, my main can help create the item if it has a requirement. Finally, I can only use each item for one day and then I can't use it again. 